Good morning, world. Today we're talking about holiday giving because sometimes it can be a source of stress for many people because during the holidays, many organizations are going to be reaching out to people that they're affiliated with, people that they know in the community, and trying to make that final push for fundraising. And for many people, the, there is a little bit of stress associated with not being able to help every organization. As much as we may want to, as much as we may appreciate the things that they are doing in the community, we also need to realize that, yes, we want to, we appreciate them, but if we give to every single organization that asks, we may not be able, we may end up becoming one of those people who needs the services. So we have to find a way to manage our giving so that we can give happily and responsibly. First is create a budget. And by budget, I mean both time and money. Yes, many organizations need your money. They need the money to do the work that they are doing, but there are also organizations that may be able to use your time. Organizations that may, may be able to use certain skills that you possess that you can help them with. So allocate both monetary and time and other personal resources that you may be able to share with an organization. And yeah, two, create a list of beneficiaries. Again, back with, there are a lot of organizations doing a lot of great work, but you are not able to help every single one of them. Create a list of beneficiaries. This may be based on anything you want, proximity to your community, things that, what the, because you're so passionate about the things that they do, because of the relationship you have with members of the organizations, because, uh, because of relationship you have with that organization itself, whatever your reason, create a list of organizations that you want to make a contribution to during the holidays. And three, match your list of bu your budget with your list of beneficiaries. Meaning that for th and for this, I like to use an Excel spreadsheet because I can use a I can do for instance in column A, I would have my list of organizations, and then in column B at the top, I start with okay, this is the budgeted amount in the mon monetary column, and of course in the C in column C, I would have at the top the time column where okay for this for this season i've decided on 30 hours 20 hours whatever the time is that you've allocated and then and you go down column c and column b and column c and put an amount in each column whether it's some organizations are going to have just money some organizations are going to have just time and some organizations will have both based on your heart's desire however you want to spread your resource your allocated budget among the beneficiaries that you have chosen, just make sure that at the bottom, when you total the columns, the the res the total for each column match with what you have budgeted at the top. And um, four, accept that resources are what they are, and be happy with what you can do. It's not the spirit, the giving is not about feeling guilty or feeling bad that you couldn't help everybody. You need to be able to actually appreciate the fact that you could help somebody. Be grateful for the opportunity to be, to contribute to this organization, whether you contributed $5 or $500 or $5,000. Be happy that you are in a place, be grateful for the opportunity to help in the way you can. And maybe you couldn't do a monetary gift, and but you were able to do time and, I don't know, bake cookies, whatever it is that you can do. Just be happy and get comfortable with what it is that you can do, that you were able to do, that you are going to do. And five, craft a thoughtful, a thoughtful response to request that you, that exceeded what you were able to do. Because when you pick three organizations, one organization, five organizations, and then the sixth come, you are going to have to say something to them because a lot of time the response, yeah, a lot of time we get the response via mail where you can just, okay, let it go. But if your friend who is raising money comes and asks you, if your child or whomever makes a personal request, you need to be able to as um, Susie Orman would say, stand in your truth and say, hey, 
I wasn't, I'm not able to contribute to this particular organization at this time. That's why it's important to one or four, accept the, that resources are, are what they are and be grateful for what you were able to do. And of course, five, be able to craft a thoughtful response so that when someone comes and asks you, you can say kindly, gently, and comfortably that you were not able to do it. So quick recap, one, create a budget, make sure you add, you have a budget for time as well as a budget for your fi for financial gifts that you can make. And two, create a list of beneficiaries, organizations that you are going to, that you want to be able to make a gift to. Three, match your budgeted amounts to your beneficiary list. And of course, make sure that you do a you set out a time frame for delivery because just because you plan $500 to give doesn't mean you have to make the whole $500 gift today. Maybe you'll give 100 this week, 100 next week, and 100 next week or until you get, dish out the whole $500. Just kind of, and especially for time, it's two, two hours a week. The, however you want to do it, just make sure you budget the time for it as well. Um, four, be happy with what you're able to do. Focus on what you can do as opposed to what you could not do because giving should feel good. It should not feel bad. It should not be, you should not be stressing over giving. If you are able to make a gift, you should be able to feel good about it. So focus on the gift that you could make instead of the gifts that you could not make. And five, craft a thoughtful response so that when someone asks you for, uh, makes a request that exceeds what you were able to do, that you can comfortably tell them that no, it wasn't, it's not in the cards for you this year. And of course, don't make promises that you're going to do something next week, that you're doing something next month. Just tell them it wasn't, you weren't able to do it this at this time. If for if somehow next week you, the opportunity comes, yeah, they will not turn you down if next week you show up and make a gift. So just be comfortable with where you are. Stand in your truth, as Susie would say. So that's pretty much it for today. Good morning world. Happy holidays.